Hello there. This is where the fun begins. What's up guys, unofficial Star Wars here. Hope you're all doing well, and in this video, we are going to be discussing more about the Acolyte. I know, there's a lot to talk about and a lot to break down with the Acolyte Disney Plus series. I'm really looking forward to it. We're going to continue to keep you guys updated with it here on the channel. It's all the more reason to grab that subscribe button if you haven't already. Of course, we're going to go ahead and hop right on into it. In this video, we are going to be taking a quick read from the Direct article. I'll have their article linked in the description down below for you guys to check out there as well as an overall garnering source. There's a lot of different questions that have been floating around about the Acolyte Disney Plus show, but of by which many of those questions consist of are the who's. Who's going to appear? Will Yoda appear? Chewbacca appear? Will Darth Plagueis appear in the Acolyte? Is exactly what we're going to be discussing more specifically in this video. Darth Plagueis could make his Star Wars live-action debut in Disney Plus's The Acolyte. One of Revenge of the Sith's most iconic scenes and lines came as Darth Sidious told Anakin Skywalker the tragedy of Darth Plagueis the Wise. His former master, who had never appeared on screen before, and from there had presumably existed before the events of the prequel trilogy. In all technicality though, however, Darth Plagueis was actually still around during the events of The Phantom Menace, although that's another story for another time. Darth Plagueis was strong enough with the Force to create life itself and prevent those of that he had loved from dying until he was killed by Sidious, his apprentice, himself. Ironic. He could save the ones that he loved, but not himself. And so, amongst many different rumors, speculations, and fun fan theories that have circulated around, even before the Acolyte's premiere trailer, is if Darth Plagueis has a potential role within the Acolyte and if he would be appearing in the upcoming Disney Plus show. The Acolyte will take place roughly during the High Republic era, around 100 years before the events of The Phantom Menace and The Skywalker Saga. Darth Plagueis was killed by Sidious shortly before or during the events of Episode 1, The Phantom Menace, when he took Maul as his apprentice, thus abiding by the rule of two of what the Sith follow. It is unclear of exactly how old he was at the time of his death, but some estimate, based on non-canon legends, tales had placed him around 115 years old during the events of The Phantom Menace or when he had died. So he would totally be around or old enough to be around during the events of the High Republic era, more specifically and especially in The Acolyte. As Darth Plagueis had force powers allowing him to sustain life, he could have applied these to himself until Sidious managed to catch him off guard in his sleep, presumably. While his age in official Star Wars canon is unclear and that 115 years old is really coming from non-canon and a part of Legends, he could be in his teenage years during the events of the Acolyte Disney Plus show based off of these past estimates and if they were to interpret that into canon. As such, the potential that there is for Darth Plagueis to appear in the Acolyte as a young and aspiring dark side user, perhaps diving into his descent into evil more specifically could be explored throughout this show, and, well, maybe not in the Acolyte, but maybe even other, uh, well, Star Wars Disney Plus shows that could be a part of the High Republic era. Or maybe even in The Acolyte Season 2, as there are already talks and discussions and pre-production of The Acolyte Season 2 already going on. The Acolyte has been confirmed to dive heavily into the emerging dark side powers during the latter years of the High Republic, and as that era comes to a close, bringing us into the prequel trilogy. Some have also theorized one of the Sith featured in the Disney Plus series could be Darth Tenbaros, the master to Plagueis, who would presumably have been in his prime around the timeline of the Acolyte. The show's first trailer had featured an intriguing shot of Amanda Steinberg's character May looking off to a shadowed figure in the distance. As May will seemingly be affiliated with the Dark Side, perhaps this could be one of those Sith characters. And going even further back, the series may well reference Darth Bane as well from the Old Republic era due to his key role in evolving the Sith to its modern incarnation and notably creating the Rule of Two. 
which says that there can only ever be a master and an apprentice. Aside from different appearances or really actually really at that cameos from different force users, I would really like to have a simple mention maybe of a number of these different characters. Darth Bane, uh, Plagueis, Yoda, Chewbacca, uh, Yaddle, all of those characters would technically be old enough to be floating around the galaxy during this time period right about when the accolade is taking place. But I would also really like to hear some type of name mention or just a, a mention out there of the Chosen One prophecy that we would later see come to fruition during the events of the prequel trilogy with Anakin Skywalker and Darth Vader. I think it would be really neat and bring a lot of things full circle and would be a nice reference. And so, the question still simply remains, will Darth Plagueis actually appear in live action and in the Acolyte Disney Plus show? Thanks to the rule of two, only two Sith can be active at once in the Star Wars galaxy technically, but there's always room for other dark side users to appear. With the Acolyte set to focus on emerging dark side powers during the events of the High Republic, one would have to imagine that the current Sith would only prove to be major players. Although I will say, I do believe the Rule of Two to get broken up during the events of the Clone Wars animated show, and that itself leaves a lot of leniency for it to exist outside of that there as well. It's more of an anchor point and not as strictly followed maybe as the Jedi Order would follow their rules. Since we do technically have multiple Sith floating around during the events of the Clone Wars animated show, Darth Maul, Savage Opress, Asajj Ventress, Palpatine, Dooku, uh, if you want to include Grievous even though he wasn't a Force user technically, I definitely feel that there's fluctuation for it to still work around and that we are going to see multiple Sith characters or Dark Side Force users appearing in the Acolyte Disney Plus show. Based on the placement of the Acolyte in the canon timeline around 100 years before the events of the Skywalker Saga, starting with the Phantom Menace, even if Darth Plagueis was not quite active yet per se, his master, Darth Tenbrus, certainly should be. As such, it seems likely at least one of the Sith pair would make their presence felt in the Acolyte. That said, the Disney Plus series is reportedly planned to run for multiple seasons, not just a season 2 as I had mentioned, although they are in pre-development and early development with season 2 already, but they want to continue it on outside of multiple seasons, meaning that Lucasfilm may opt to save such vital Star Wars characters for further into its run or perhaps even other projects set within the High Republic era as I had mentioned. So far, there have only been no reports or really rumors pointing to either Sith being cast for live action, and with production having wrapped last year, this does seem to cast doubt on them making their way into the Acolyte. But even then, who would you actually want to cast as uh, Darth Plagueis or really any of those characters? I feel like that there's a dozen different choices, and they would be able to keep that really quite secret. And based off of the trailer itself, towards the end, we can confirm that some type of Sith character is going to be around. Lucasfilm did manage to keep Luke Skywalker's return in The Mandalorian Season 2, and hey, even in the Book of Boba Fett, really under wraps, meaning anything is truly possible. This year all being said, guys, let me know all of your thoughts and opinions in the comments down below. I would love to hear what you guys are all thinking. Thanks so much for watching today's video. Of course, this has been an official Star Wars. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Have a great one. May the Force be through as always. Peace out.